watching Fox Carolina, the Midday News. Welcome back to the Midday News on Fox Carolina. It's a subject that many people are intimidated by, and that's real estate. If you're currently in the process of buying or selling a home, there's a new book you'll want to have in hand, going over some tips that you need to know about. And joining me now is upstate real estate agent and author Joan Herlong. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you, Haley. I appreciate it. Of course. So first off, tell us why you decided to write a book on real estate right here as is. I decided to write as is to raise the bar, mm. to raise the bar. Um, people have the right to expect more from their real estate transaction, from their realtor, but first they have to know what more to expect. So it's not a how-to at all about how to sell your house. It's really telling people what more to expect, the right questions to ask mm. as they find the best agent for them. Absolutely. You've been in the business for a while now. Over 30 years. You've yes. got a lot of expertise. So how has the industry changed over the years, especially here in the Greenville area? Wow, it's, it's made a lot of changes in terms of representation. Mm -hmm. When I started out over 30 years ago, all agents represented the seller. Even if you were working with what you thought was a buyer agent, whatever you said mm -hmm. was repeated to the seller. So there's been a huge sea change in that soon after that, people started having buyer agents. And a buyer agent's job is to represent the buyer's interests. Mm -hmm. And then you have listing agents who represent the seller's interests. The difference now is that there's been some recent, in fact, current litigation going on talking about, well, who pays whom yeah. if they're representing somebody else? Should the buyer pay the buyer agent or should that be paid by the transaction? And that is a big sea change that this industry is going through right now. Yeah. But what hasn't changed is that it's still the listing agent's job to help the seller get the most amount for their home mm -hmm. in a reasonable amount of time. And it's the buyer agent's job to help the buyer not unknowingly overpay. If you want to knowingly overpay, that's your business. And I'll tell you that you're doing that. I love the transparency there, Joan. What type of tips do you have for people who are either a first time buyer or a first time seller? In a nutshell, don't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah. If you're talking with an agent that you're thinking about working with, either on the list side or the buy side, and you're made to feel like any of your questions are dumb questions, trust your gut and move on. Um, and know what questions to ask, which you can find in the book. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's basically trust your gut. And if you don't feel like somebody's there on your side, they're probably not. Mm. So keep looking. You can't spit without hitting an agent in this area or you know, any area uh, for that matter. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't have the right fit, interview two or three until you feel like you're really in, simpat in simpatico yeah, with the looking. person that you're work working with. Yeah, so tell me a little bit, the book's out. What has the reaction been like so far? Um, well, nobody's told me they haven't liked it. <laughs> That's good. Um, and it's, it's, not, it's not for agents, although it's not not for agents. It's for potential buyers, potential sellers, and for agents that are thinking about going into the business or want to do it better. Uh, I spoke with an agent last, last week who's been in the business longer than I have. And she read it and she said, I was gratified to know I was doing things right. Because we do things the same way, basically. Yeah. It's all about transparency. It's all about never forgetting that your client comes first. Mm -hmm. Not the deal, not the transaction, not your own interest, not your own timetable. You can't ever tap your foot and say, oh, when are you going to make a decision? The client has to come first. Absolutely. I feel like buying a car and buying a house are two of the most intimidating things you can do as an adult. So I love that we can now have a book that can tell us the questions we should be asking. Because when it's so foreign to you, you don't always even know what you should be asking. Exactly. And this is, um, it's an insider's guide. Love that. Well, thank you so much for stopping by midday. And if you are interested, as is an insider's guide to real estate is available for purchase right now. Of course, you can find more information on our website at foxcarolina.com. Chrissy, I don't know if the market is hot or cold, but I do know outside.